Hello and welcome back. Another quick look at another tool which uh, is kind of focused on doing the pushback. It's, uh, well, it, you can't really compare GSX, which, for which I made a video recently, with uh, Pushback Express. Um, Pushback Express is sort of a little bit smaller uh, in in what it does and then it uh, would be JSX but um, it concentrates on a particular uh, feature and that is getting the aircraft pushed back. Now there is also a mode available in Pushback Express that uh, is kind of the pre-flight events kind of thing that you can use. It uh, is similar to what, for example, the FS2 crew um, checklist uh, programs will do for uh, the likes of fly-by-wire, the MAD dog, and so on. But uh, as I say, it, it, you can't compare it with uh, GSX. It is a number smaller than, than that. Now, normally, but that never, I never got this to work. Uh, normally, you can go to the command center, you can pick one of the FS2 crew tools, such as the Pushback Express, as you can see I have uh, quite a lot of them. <laughs> and then you can say launch application and what should happen then is that the application starts. For some reason it never does for me. I haven't figured it out yet, uh, I've been looking at the forum, I tried several things, but again for me, this is actually not a problem because I want to be in control what software is started um, and I usually also turn off any of my um, plugins and tools that I am very most likely not going to need. So although this doesn't work, I have started it manually now in the background and uh, there is a menu, you can define yourself a button which should toggle the Pushback Express manual. Um, I'm not going to go through all the options here. I'm just going to show you how it works and how you do um, kind of the way you should uh, use it. There are two ways of using it. As with most FS2 crew tools, there's a voice controlled edition and a button edition. They come with the same package. Um, in this case, I use the voice command assist, um, which needs a bit of uh, things getting set up. Again, I'm not going to talk you through all of this here. Um, just look at the audio. So there's a speaker's device and a headset. Um, and I just realize that, um, yeah, the headset actually requires my microphone to be on. Let me quickly check that uh, we don't get... Yeah, okay, it's off in OBS, so we won't get a uh, feedback here. Um, so I have a headset on, in my case, that's also something I use for, for Watson. And I can hear the voice in the speaker and I can use my headset uh, microphone, for example, to uh, provide the commands. What I can also do is I can actually switch to my main um, microphone here, the one that I record videos with, um, doesn't matter. Um, current audio device, speakers, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually a headset, so can turn it and you can change the volume with which uh, um, FS2 crew pushback express is actually producing all these sounds. There are some pushback modes is a distance pushback, a windows buttons and a rudder control so you can actually do a very manual way which in my view is why have I paid money if I can do something that I can do anyway with the simulator? So for me, actually the distance mode is what makes most sense. So something that I have to do, I have to kind of define where I want to be pushed back to. 
but then I can leave it to Pushback Express to be automatic. And then there's a couple of other things which I'm not going to go through. Now there's one setting that I'm going to use here now and that is the, you can um, kind of blow up the zoom <laughs> this, this uh, menu. So I've done it a little bit bigger so that it's easier for you to read. Normally I leave it on the smallest size because I, want to, I don't want to use uh, a lot of um, uh, real estate here on my, on my screen. But in this case I leave it like this. Now, um, there are several things that you can do. There is uh, a voice control assist. So uh, this is a panel down here. It will actually give you the next commands that you should use in order to trigger the next activities. Pushback Express has actually been made relatively intuitive once you have understood how it works. Unfortunately, the um, virtual copilot kind of FS2 Cruise I find really, really messy and, and unintuitive, uh, apart from the fact that the UI, oh God. <laughs> I mean, we are in 2023 and we get this here. Well, anyway, um, I guess it's a matter of taste. So there are, um, there is what is called a um, pre-flight event mode and I'm trying to find this now because in this hugely intuitive uh, package collapse PSB panel what was that again expand or collapse oh yeah you can you can kind of um, resize stuff then here's the voice control assist we've just seen that there is some information so there's there's even more stuff coming um, but taking away, oops, and that was not what I wanted. I have to bring it back again. Mi minus um, minimizes the panel. And uh, this is pins the panel to a particular position. And it, then it cannot be um, minimized. Uh, this here is the uh, speech. So um, mode distance, voice control. And you can see when I push and hold. Roger. Oops, yeah, it will actually listen to me. And this uh, thing, I'm not even sure what, what this icon does. Yeah, toggle ground services panel. Yep, here you have the ground service. So what you can do here now is uh, that you, oh, I think we, we started stuff, which I didn't want to have started. Uh, quest fuel truck, no, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. What, what the heck is it doing? Um, oh yeah, and that's FS RAS. I'm, I'm not sure why I can start FS RAS. That's not what I wanted. It's another tool. Go away. <laughs> I got this all in the sale. Uh, what the heck did I do wrong now? Well, anyway, let, let's leave him there. It's okay. I have no problem as long as it doesn't start pushing us back suddenly. Um, so what you can do here is there is a pre-flight event. So if you click that button, there's a 30 minute um, cycle where it would, uh, for example, bring on the jetway. And what it also will do is I think calling up some uh, some of the other ground services that includes, I think, cargo loaders and stuff like that. But it depends on the airport that you're on. Um, for this to work, you must have airport with, uh, let's say, the correct vehicles around. If they are not around, they will not show up. Now, you can bring forward the time, so I did kind of a... Uh, fast forward now um, and what you can see is we get a cargo loader for the front there is actually a GPU unit which is shown here uh, not that we need that for the flyby wire and then there's the food truck not sure what it's going to do it looks a little bit big <laughs> for our purpose 
uh, and uh, so th this whole time thing is is done so that um, stuff will drive up and then disappear again you can see now the cargo loader and also um, some luggage is arriving to be put in it looks actually similar to what gsx is producing so in the meantime i have started up the apu and kind of prepared the aircraft for being pushed back and engine start uh, the flying fruit group still doesn't know what it should do <laughs> it's just hanging around there so this is also not perfect apparently and for some reason I can't see the menu anymore ah yeah because I've made it small all right okay now if you want to prepare for pushback and you are at a position you don't know exactly how far and what direction what you will do is you take this pushback distance and final heading part which comes with the mode that I selected there's a distance in meters there's a final heading and there's a trim don't use the trim I have never under quite understood how you use it I just use the upper two values in order to see um, where we are getting to you need to um, turn this on and then you what you can do is it uh, looks like the distance is too big so let's try 80 not that it will change its position but <laughs> as you can see you do you enter a new value you turn this on and off uh-huh we're almost there let's try 67 looks like we are more or less on the line let's try 65 ah, 66 so the 73 looks like pretty much spot on the way i see it yep i think it does cool so um enter distance yeah so we've done that then you can do away with this um, and we're now ready and prepared to kind of um, tell it uh, to push us back and it will then use the information we've just uh, provided we have still four minutes in the pre-flight events let's uh, wait that they are over so uh, the last 40 something seconds of the pre-flight events uh, by the way by using the microphone before i actually triggered the initial part of uh, of this that means that uh, the tuck already gone under us it's a huge tuck it's um, it's not gsx obviously um, and we're now going to get rid of uh, all these parts because we're they're now preparing the aircraft for getting pushed back. Not as comprehensive as GSX, obviously. Well, let's see, let's wait that uh, I think we are done with it. Let's quickly check. Yep, so the pre-flight events are done. And uh, what I would do now is I would use the next phrase by using my uh, push to talk button here. And that's, we are ready for pushback and engine start. release the parking brakes, please. It doesn't even wait that I, that's strange. Okay, well then. Let's uh, release the parking brakes. Let's get into the cockpit here. Ah, yeah. Brakes released. Pushing back. Now, at some point, it will tell us that we can start our engines. Have I turned on the APU blitz? No, nope, not yet. 
you are clear behind and you can start your engines at your discretion. Very good. Um, there's no answer that I should give. So I'm starting with number two. And you can see that it nicely places us on the line, looks pretty good. Pushback complete, set parking brakes please. Parking brake is set. Brakes are set. Roger. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. You can disconnect and go to hand signals. Thanks. Have a good flight. See you later. And that's more or less it. Uh, you can see now the, the pushback express program actually stops now and kind of fades out and that's it done uh, the tool is finished there's not much more we can see now the tack which is the default tack here of uh, the scenery or of, of Azobo um, it moves away I could start now the second engine and go my merry way there is no other options you don't have follow me's and whatnot um, if you get pushback express in a sales I think it wasn't that expensive. I paid around 20 euros or so. Um, to be honest, in most cases, unless I really want to do a big showcase, um, uh, Pushback Express is more than enough. It's easy to use. Yeah, I don't even need all these pre-flight events. Normally I would just simply call it up shortly before I want to push back um, and then activate, uh, like set the position um, and then just get get going here. Yep. So it's a simple tool. It works. Um, it's actually quite good so far. It hasn't really crashed on me or anything. And the voice, I, f I find the voice mode quite uh, immersive because you kind of talk to talk to the ground crew. It's not perfect as we've seen. But for me, this is more than I need, uh, and it's it's easy for me to set the arrow. You get used to it very quickly, um, and yeah, that's it. Pushback Express from FS to Crew. Until next time. <laughs>